trying to do a little bit more of a vlogging style type of video for you guys. So there's a little bit of everything today. I'll be going over how Color and Havex started. Just kind of a day in my life. So for right now, like I said, I'm taking out my 335. Haven't driven it in a while. I'm gonna go to Shitty Starbs, of course. Oh, I gotta pull out some money from the bank because I am doing a new sign. Um, so I'll show you guys where my shop's at. And basically where my shop's at, I have like this banner that says Color and Havex. However, I wanna make it look a little bit more professional. So I am getting one that lights up for the front and the side. So. I'm pulling that out, uh, the cash out to give the guy so he can start on that. It's a lot of money, but I think it's well worth it at the end and it gives a really good appearance for my shop. So, um, let's get out of here. So here's Tristan's Claft 135 car. There's mine right there. She's warmed up for a bit. These are some side skirts that we got in uh, for the shop. Haven't really checked them out yet and whatnot, but whatever, that's for another day. So, um, not, no clue why it looks like that in the camera, but it does not look like that here um, in person. So, we're gonna get out of here. As, like, as I showed you guys, there's no lights on this car, which is what I love. Um, if any of you guys have been following my builds here, you guys know that I like to take really good care of my cars, which means I do not have any lights on my dash. If I have any lights, any leaks, I get really paranoid. Another thing to note, um, this car does take full 85. And the best part about living where I live is there is an E85 station right across where I live. So I live on pretty much the other side of this and um, the 85 station's right there. Could not be more convenient for me. It's honestly amazing, which is why I fill up all my cars with E85. And yeah, so um, I'm gonna go fill this car up with some E85 before heading to some shitty Starbs, which is right over there, which I'm super lucky for. Gotta love shitty starbs and oh yikes. No. We are out of E85 here, which I'm assuming there's another pump somewhere on the other side. So let's see how well you guys hear me. Uh, we're gonna test out this mic uh, while I'm driving. Um, the inside of this car seems a little bit loud, so I don't know how well the mic's gonna pick it up. So we'll see what it does. A lot of you guys know that I, again, kind of the backstory, I worked at a car dealership and it was a family car dealership. And then I ended up kind of doing Color on 5X full time. So and I'm trying this YouTube thing out, which I think has a lot of potential. I mean, that's the goal. I, I really wanna share all my builds and my life with you guys. And I feel like um, I can really do that with YouTube and I have a lot of cool builds and I, ha I do a lot of cool things over the summer and even sometimes over the winter and I feel like YouTube kind of just let allows me to show you guys that. I started Color 5 x back in 2018, um, early August or so. So I started it because I wanted to sell some shirts for my local Facebook group. As all of you guys know, I started on Facebook first. I made a group and um, I, I did meets and I did stuff like that. And people were asking for t-shirts and whatnot. So I was selling t-shirts, I was selling lanyards, I was selling little stuff like that, kind of merch. And then um, that kind of translated into me selling other products. And the only reason why I did this was because a lot of people were asking me like, hey Brian, where did you get this for your car? Hey Brian, where did you get this? And um, I mean, I kept getting, t I mean, I kept getting a lot of messages over and over and I kept getting tired of people asking me where I got this stuff. So I decided, why not, I'll sell it myself and uh, we'll just go from there. So fast forward, uh, we're in August, fast forward all the way up to September, uh, actually November. I got in contact with a few other suppliers who sold more stuff and they pretty much said, hey man, I see you're trying to sell a little stuff here and there. Why not allow us to put your our products onto your website and then you can sell it for us. 
So I did that and I started selling their products on my site. It ended up doing pretty good-ish 2018. I mean, it wasn't amazing where I could quit my job. And then 2019 came around. Uh, 2019 came around from January through December. I was doing a good amount of sales. I mean, I was doing, um, I'll get into the numbers 2019 since it wasn't a really big compared to 2020. But 2019, just so you guys can get an understanding, in sales, I mean, January, February was still kind of off. There was days where I was not getting any sales at all. I mean, there was days where I was doing, there was maybe three days in a week where I wasn't getting zero sales and it was awful. I mean, I think there were one, um, one month in particular, I forgot which month it was, I was getting zero sales at like at all, like not the whole month, just that week, it was zero dollars, zero sales. I was not making any money. Obviously not worth it for me to quit my job at this point, okay? I started off doing little stuff here and there, started getting like push start buttons, uh, just little stuff like that, which believe it or not, that's that's probably the best things to stock up on. Fast forward out 2019, um, as, as, as I was saying, basically you get maybe $20,000 in sales in a month, and then the other month, $15,000. I think uh, the most I got was like $30,000 in one month. That's all sales, none of that is profit. Um, so you guys know I'm not making $30,000 to $40,000 in a month. But basically that that's, that's pretty much all sales, so January to December of uh, 2019 was kind of like a, it was a good year. But like I said, there was days that I didn't get sales every day. Um, there was weeks where maybe a whole week I didn't get sales, which kind of, I, I lost motivation during that time just a little bit. And I kept focusing on the dealership because the dealership is a six figure income job that I was having versus Colorado 5X, I was still kind of like starting with it. It wasn't like a set income. So we get into like November, December of 2019, I'm doing a little bit more sales. Um, every day starts to become a really good day. Um, I'm starting to pick up in sales and whatnot. And then 2020 hits. Um, and I know 2020 has been a very bad year for a lot of people. COVID, people losing their jobs and whatnot. And it's that's very unfortunate. However, for Colorado 5X, I think it was quite the opposite. I am very thankful for the fan base that I built on Instagram, Facebook, and even YouTube now and I, even TikTok, um, I, I've grown my platform in a pretty big way, I think in all these social medias. I think for that reason that I grew everything, um, I was able to really do well with my website. So January hit 2019, January started off with a big bang. We did close to 80K in sales in January. From there on out, I'm going to keep my numbers very uh, discreet. I'm not going to tell you guys. There's no point. Um, just know that I'm very thankful for everything that I have received um, from you guys and all the love and support that I have received during this time. But um, starting January from 2020 and up, it really, like my site really took a, really just blew up. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, I think people, the word of mouth started going around and it just, there was not a single day where I was not getting sales. I also put a lot in time and effort into Colorado and 5X that people don't really understand. I mean, during 2019, I went on TikTok, I went on Facebook. I, I mean, there was nights where I did not want to go out to meets. I was tired. I was exhausted, whatever the case may be, but I would go out just to get some sort of content out for Instagram. So all this led me to pretty much, I mean, I was working long nights. I mean, so what I would do is I would literally come back from the dealership, which was a like 7 a.m. job all the way till 7 p.m. So I would do all that and then I would come home and I would still fulfill orders all the way up in two, three in the morning. So that really took a hit on me. As I said, January, it just 2020, we blew up. And then I think it was September, October 2020 when I decided I can no longer do this at my house anymore. This is way too big. I have way too much products. There's way too much people coming to my house. Some I didn't feel too comfortable with. So let's just open up a shop. So that's when I contacted Billy. Um, his name is Boosted Billy on Instagram. He has an LS Swap 335. And before that, he has some had he has had some crazy projects. So I talked to him, we talked business, and I told him, well, what would you think if you moved to Colorado and just fixed people's cars here in Colorado? He loved the idea. We know that there's money here. And I mean, fast forward to now, December 2020, and right behind me, uh, we're at my shop. So we're right to the side of me same thing so yeah i mean there's there's a lot more of what happened with my website and how i grew it and whatnot just know that there was a lot a lot a lot of work that i put into the website it's not just me building a website and stuff no there's a 
way much more. There's countless of hours that I did not sleep. I did have a lot of funds to start out with. Not a lot. I started off with $5,000 in funds. Um, and I just kind of put that money aside and see where Colorado and 5X would take off. And this is for everyone who wants to do something similar and whatnot. Pick a platform that's not oversaturated. This platform, I think, is just... There's a lot of people that do what we do now. Um, and I feel like it's just not... It's not working there's a few websites that have done what i do and it's just not working so you got to find what you do i mean it's not for the money i didn't start it for the money i started off more of it for a passion and then it grew into my business so i'll show you real quick so i'm in my car here's my 335 and here is my shop right now so we are changing out that banner um they're actually coming in today to um change it out to an actual like um kind of like how that shop has it it's word per word so they're going to change colorado and 5x to word for word and it's going to be um there's going to be light obviously so it's not just a banner um and on the other side is the same thing a lot of you guys probably see that there's a views auto window tinting this used to be a di uh a tinting business we bought them out and as of now we only have the shop here and then we have one bay we do plan on buying um more of these bays but they're all occupied I'm waiting for one of their lease to ends and then I'm taking over either or just for more parking because at the moment um, we only have I guess just one two three we have like six parking spots so it's not too bad a lot of work needs to go into this building but overall I think it has a lot of potential anyways I guess that's like a kind of a brief understanding of how um, or a brief story of how Colin 5 x started anyways behind me is my shop we are gonna go take a look inside of it real quick and show you guys what I have done so far And last not but not least, here is the shop space. So the clips before me, you guys saw the pretty much the offices, pretty much just everything. Here behind me is the pretty much uh, where we're gonna work on cars. So as you can see right now, my F80 is in the back. There's a lot of work to be done here, but basically we're putting one lift right here and then another one kind of like sideways. It, I mean, everything looks like it's gonna fit. We've talked to a few people, seems to be no problem. Worst case, we're gonna put one lift here here and i mean this is all stuff from the tinting guy who moves out this month that's pretty much my shop i think overall we have just grown into such a big bmw community here in colorado that this is this has turned into something i want to do for the rest of my life pretty much with youtube i, I want to grow it out to the point where this is my not my main source of income but this is something that i can do and i can travel um, to a lot of states and continue with this and show you guys the BMW community. I feel like the BMW community is very uh, underrated. The BMW community, is, it, it's a really great community. There's a lot of fast cars, there's a lot of unique builds. There's a lot that I feel like people don't know about the BMW community, um, such as this car back here. It's the F80, a lot of you guys don't know, but this is the fastest BMW here in Colorado right now. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's probably not a single BMW that is as fast as this one in a roll race, of course. Um, I don't do digs, I don't care for digs. If you wanna do digs, that's all you. I just personally do not like digs. The only reason why I don't like digs is because stuff breaks more quicker. So I'm not a big fan of it. With my X3M, I do plan on doing some digs, but for now, I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan. I've raised some of the fastest BMWs here in Colorado. BMW scene here in Colorado is pretty big, but it's pretty small when it comes down to fast cars. So unless someone has a hidden jam out here that no one takes it out, then I guess I'm, I'm the one. So, um, and this car has beaten some 1,000 horsepower GTRs. Um, 900 horsepower Camaros. I mean, you name it. There's there's a lot of cars in the 900 to 1,000 horsepower range, and I've kept up or beaten them. So, great car. DCT is amazing, and yeah. So um, that's pretty much my shop, guys. There's nothing much more to today. You guys kind of saw my routine. 
from here on out, all I do is just sit here, do some appointments, ship out stuff, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you guys might have seen in one of my clips, uh, a girl, she is an employee, she is a receptionist, she's doing really good, she's been training really well. Um, and then there's Tristan, who's not here right now, I think he went to go do some errands. Well, and then Billy comes in January, which he's kind of moving in and out from here to Florida, kind of going back and forth, finishing all his projects. But thank you guys, um, I guess I'll try to put a little bit more clips here in for me doing some cars. I think uh, an M5 is coming in for a steering wheel install. and. I'm correct there's like two more cars one's for some mirror covers and i forgot what the other one was for but nothing big nothing crazy we don't have a lift so that kind of explains a lot so yeah